So it's the first year of my Jesuit novitiate, and I walk into the TV room uh, where about 10 Jesuits were watching a movie. And I said, well, what's on? And they said, the Song of Bernadette. And I said, oh, what's the Song of Bernadette? And 10 heads looked at me horrified and said, you don't know what the Song of Bernadette is? And I said, no. I sat down and watched the movie. The Song of Bernadette is a very, uh, now I know, it's a very popular Catholic movie um, about Bernadette Subaru. Uh, who had visions of Mary at Lourdes. And as wonderful as the movie is, um, the real life story of St. Bernadette is even more spectacular. In 1858, uh, Bernadette Subaru is living in a small town in southern France called Lourdes uh, in extreme poverty. Her parents actually had been reduced to taking lodgings in what was a former jail, which was this horrible 10 by 10 hovel that looked out onto sort of a slop yard. One day, uh, Bernadette's mother asked her to go collect wood uh, at a local grotto uh, near the river Gav. And uh, Bernadette goes, and it's about a mile away. And uh, she sits down to take her stockings off to wade across the river. And suddenly, she feels this wind and looks up. And in a little niche, she sees uh, a very uh, sort of young girl um, who is kind of glowing and white. And Bernadette runs back home. She doesn't tell anyone. Uh, she tells her sister sister tells her mother. Her mother beats her because she thinks that Bernadette is lying. And the woman uh, in the grotto said, please come back for 15 days. And uh, Bernadette starts going back and going back. And each time, uh, she is attracting more and more of a crowd. And she never says uh, who it is. Um, she goes to the priest, and the priest is very angry at her uh, and basically says, stop telling these lies. And finally, the priest says, well, ask her for her name. And the woman says, I am the Immaculate Conception, which is Mary. So it's Mary that has been appearing to her. Now, one of the um, sort of beautiful things about that story is that Bernadette was not a very uh, educated girl and had never heard of the Immaculate Conception, which was a doctrine that had just been promulgated by the Vatican a few years before. Uh, and in fact, when she is running back to tell the priest what she's heard, she has to repeat those words over and over again so she doesn't forget them. So uh, eventually people realize that it's uh, the Blessed Mother appearing to her. Uh, there's a huge group of people that comes to see her one day when Bernadette, I think it was on a particular day during the week, that Bernadette would see the Blessed Mother. And uh, Mary says to her, uh, go and drink of the springs. And Bernadette goes to the river and uh, the Blessed Mother says, no, no, right there where the spring is. And Bernadette is digging and she's trying to follow what the vision tells her puts mud in her face because there's nothing there. Everyone laughs at her. She's, this is kind of like the low point of her life. Um, her, her mother disbelieves her now. The townspeople disbelieve her. But later on, um, what happens is a spring of water comes up from that place that she'd been digging in. Bernadette had unearthed this spring. And uh, I think because people in the time associated uh, already, you know, this vision with the Blessed Mother, a woman in the town who had had a permanently crippled uh, arm dipped it in the water and was healed. And that was one of the first of the healings at Lourdes. And this is a place that becomes the great Catholic pilgrimage spot. You know, the Catholic Church is very reluctant to declare anything uh, a miracle. Um, for one thing, uh, the miracles started happening with greater regularity, and uh, they were instantaneous. There was no other uh, cause for them. Uh, they were examined by doctors. That's one thing that helped people to believe. Uh, but they examined Bernadette, too, and they examined her. And for years, 
she stuck to the same story. Um, she did not uh, move one iota. And in fact, when they first asked her, uh, who was it that appeared to you? Um, the police chief of the time, who wanted to trip her up, um, said to her, you know, tried to write down what she was saying, and read back to her something that was not what she said. Um, you know, this illiterate girl. He said, well, you said the virgin appeared to me, and she said, stop, the virgin, did, I didn't say the virgin, you said that. When you read the story of Bernadette, and you see this person who is uh, honest and transparent and simple and never, ever trying to put herself forward, I think it's her character um, that helps people believe. She doesn't do it for money, even though she's extremely poor. Uh, people offer her uh, all sorts of money and uh, gifts. She refuses them all. Um, and towards the end of her life, she enters a monastery. Um, she becomes a sister. Um, and she herself gets sick. Uh, and people say to her, we'll go back to Lourdes for healing. And she says, no, that's not for me. That's for other people. This is not someone who's given to making things up. And in fact, she had a very hard life after, uh, after Lourdes. Mary said to her in one of the visions, I can't promise you happiness in this life, just the next. And so for me, um, one of the proofs of the story, as it were, is Bernadette herself and who she was. But there's a great line from the movie, um, uh, the song of Bernadette, which I like to go back to, which is, for those with faith, no explanation is necessary. For those without faith, no explanation is possible. Bernadette, I think, is certainly people who are sick feel comfortable uh, praying to because of the healing properties um, that were associated with Lourdes. So, uh, so many people go to Lourdes, and I've been there myself, and it's an extremely uh, powerful place. Uh, you, you go to that grotto, and there's something about it that I can't explain, but it really sort of draws you in. Um, part of it, I think, is there's so many people there who are sort of silent on their knees and praying before the very spot. Uh, that the Blessed Mother appeared to Bernadette. So, so many people pray to Bernadette and Our Lady of Lourdes for healing. But I think also people who find it difficult to uh, sort of stick to their guns and, and, and hold on to their faith when people are making fun of them. So Bernadette, this young girl, is someone who says to us, keep your eye on the ball, keep focused. If this is something you really feel that's coming from God, no matter how many times people tell you that you're nuts, keep at it and all will work out. Bernadette says to us, keep true to your vision.